Lisa Moore is a friend and colleague at Johns Hopkins Art Children's Hospital. She's a senior director of nursing, and she's going to speak to us about uh, the uh, importance of experienced nurses in cardiac ICU. Thank you. It's truly a privilege for me to be here tonight to speak on behalf of Dr. Patty Hickey. Uh, if that wasn't daunting enough, it's pretty daunting to be in the room with such giants. So it's an honor for me to be here. We thought we would, um, just as in, in medicine, there are many giants in nursing. So we thought we would share uh, a few of those role models that we have in the nursing discipline. So first, uh, Margaret Sanger was the uh, pioneer for women's health and the founder of Planned Parenthood. She was actually often uh, arrested and prosecuted for her radical advocacy uh, as it related to women's health. Claire Barton was the founder of the American Red Cross and known as the angel of the battlefield. She was uh, often took medical supplies right to the, um, the military men in the middle of the battlefield and had a huge influence in the nursing discipline. Mary Mahoney was the first African-American registered nurse in the United States. She opened an orphan asylum, uh, but she spent most of her career dealing with racial discrimination. And she was finally honored in 1993 into the American Nurses Association and the National Women's Hall of Fame. I'm hoping you all recognize this nurse as Florence Nightingale. She's the founder of Modern Nursing and really the first nurse to use data to drive practice and improvement in our patient outcomes. And because Patty's not here, I got to add a slide. And we're really here to honor um, the contemporary innovator of the day, which is Dr. Patty Hickey. She has, uh, she's known around the world for her work as it relates to uh, nursing experience. And she has taught many of us that patient outcomes can be affected with nurses who have more than 11 years of experience in the ICUs. And inversely, mortality is affected when you have greater than 20% of your nurses with less than two years of experience. So for all the physicians in the room, I really encourage you to partner with your nurse leaders and advocate for nursing education and the importance of recruitment and retention of the nurses who are taking care of your very complex patients. Before we talk a little bit about uh, Patty's contributions, I thought I would share with you a uh, job description from Florence's time. And uh, we, I'm, I'm happy to say that many things have changed. Um, this might be a little bit hard to read, so I'll just uh, quickly go through them. But we're not really sweeping and mopping the floors anymore. However, we are responsible for keeping a clean environment. Happy to say we don't have to bring the coal to work anymore uh, in order to keep the environment warm. Although there's a few things that haven't changed, we're still keeping light for our physicians and trying to make sure their notes are accurate. Uh, we still work very long hours, and uh, luckily I can come out tonight and have a glass of wine without my intentions being questioned. Um, and luckily, we are being paid more than five cents um, per year for our raise. So um, glad to see that some things have changed, although not everything. So as we talk about the most innovative resource in nursing is really a contribution of Dr. Uh, Patty Hickey's work, and I have some notes from her. Um, this is really until recently, we had no way to measure complexity and acuity in um, our ICU as it relates to our patients and the nursing experience. And so Dr. Hickey's team has developed this tool, the Cameo, so complexity assessment monitoring to ensure optimal outcomes. And she's excited to announce that this is going to launch in September in nine different ICUs across the country. Another one of uh, the Boston Children's Hospital's innovation is open pediatrics. And this is a, um, the Boston Children's and IBM have leveraged this technology to produce a not-for-profit free platform where nurses can share resources across the globe in an interdisciplinary forum. 
there's pathways and simulations and videos and orientation available on this uh, network. And currently it's available in English and Spanish and soon to be Chinese. Uh, it's a great resource for those programs uh, who struggle not only within the United States, but internationally with retaining nurses. As I just talked about, it's so important to retain those experienced nurses. So there's wonderful tools and resources on this website. Um, it does help bridge the gap. It's also, uh, these slides already within a couple of weeks are out of date. It's uh, already reached uh, 2,470 programs in 146 countries. So uh, great work to Patty and her team. And then lastly, I would just like to add that uh, although we have many innovations in nursing, the one thing that is unwavering is our compassion and our commitment to excellence. I think that you will always find nurses who are advocating for their patients above all else. Thank you.